Okay, I have to tell y'all something funny. And I know my hair looks a fright, but I worked outside all day today in the cold and the wind, so I really don't care. And I have arthritis bad. So I was looking for something easy for dinner. So I decided I would order Cracker Barrel to go. And I wasn't looking to get out of my car. Like I said, I have arthritis. I feel horrible. I was actually in the bathtub soaking and I called Cracker Barrel and I told them, I said, look, I want a place to go order, but I don't want to get out of the car. So if it makes it easier, just let me put it on my credit card. I'll give you my credit card now and I'll pay for it. I just don't want to get out of the car when I get there. So the girl says, oh, I'm sorry, we can't do that. We're going to have to, the only way possible that you could do that is to go on to crackerbarrel.com and order the order it there or go on the mobile, download the Cracker Barrel mobile app and do it there. So I said, all right. So I was like, I do not want to get back out of the car. I do not want to get in the cold. So I downloaded the app. And I was looking for the vegetable plate. But of course, the vegetable plate is literally like 10 pages down. You have to click on more options, more options, more options before you get to it. I finally get to it. I am wanting two, two vegetable plates. So I choose my items for the first one and I add it to the cart. And then I scroll again because once I add that to my cart and continue shopping, it takes me back to the beginning of the selections, which again is like 10 pages away from the damn vegetable plate. I finally get back to the vegetable plate. I choose my items for that one. <clears throat> then I go to checkout and I have to put in my address, my telephone number, my email address, my credit card information, expiration date, security code, make, muller, make model and color of car, all this. Finally get down to the end, and this is taking forever by the way, and so I finally click submit, and a message comes up and it says, we're sorry, we can't process your order at this time, you will have to call Cracker Barrel. And I'm like, I'm not believing this. So I call Cracker Barrel back, and I get the girl at the register, which of course she's not the one that's gonna take my order. She has to transfer that call to this girl who, whose name I thought was Brittany, but whose name is Birdie, apparently. So I get her on the phone. I tell her I want a place to go order. She says, okay. She puts me on hold. I can hear everything in the background. She's gone, I swear to God, for six, seven minutes. She comes back. And she picks up the phone and says, I'm sorry, who are you holding for? And I said, I'm holding for Brittany. Isn't she the to-go girl? And she says, no, her name is Birdie. And I said, okay, well, can I speak to Birdie? So I get Birdie on the line and I place my to-go order. And at the end of that, Birdie says, now this is what I believe Birdie says. Now, this is not what Birdie said, but what I hear Birdie say, and I'm thinking the reason she said this is because I don't want to get out of my car because I'd called her before. Birdie says, and I hear, would you like a coffee to go along with that alcoholic beverage? Now, I am already frustrated with this whole process, and I am literally about to go off on Birdie, and I'm like, this bitch is trying to tell me that I'm drunk, placing this to-go order, and I will need coffee when I get there. <clears throat> so I, I don't say anything, and I say, excuse me? And she says, she repeats herself, but this time she says, would you like a specialty coffee or an alcoholic beverage to go? And I'm like, I, I'm not believing what I'm hearing. I, I, now I believe she's making this up. And so I say, wait a minute. Cracker Barrel now serves alcohol to go, alcoholic beverages to go? And she says, yes. And I say, okay. 
So I say, no, I don't want any alcoholic beverages or coffee. So I get off the phone with her and I drive over there and have I, all the way over there. I'm like, this girl, I think this girl made this up. Like, I don't think, I think she made this up because she thought I was drunk and then she was trying to get out of it. So I get over there and I park and I get out and I go inside and I give the girl my name at the register and she goes to get my to-go order and then she comes back and I say, is it true that you have alcoholic beverages to go now? And she says, yes, we have alcoholic beverages here or we have some that you can take with you. And I'm like, I'm not believing it. And I say, can I see the menu? So she gives me the menu and I snap a few pictures of the menu because I'm like, I have to tell everybody this. I can't believe it. Apparently some people knew already. I guess I just didn't know because I don't really eat at Cracker Barrel that much. So anyway, the moral of the story is I almost cussed this girl out because I thought she was calling me an alcoholic or that I was drunk. And apparently Cracker Barrel has introduced alcohol to their menu, which is probably smart because I'm sure they've lost a lot of revenue with COVID. So yeah, Cracker Barrel has bo really boring American beer, mostly boring wine, sparkling wine, and apparently mimosa kits that you can take with you or mimosas that they can make for you table side or whatever. So that's it. I, and I learned something today. I, I cannot believe that Cracker Barrel has introduced alcohol. I'm not mad. I may go there for brunch now sometime and try one of their mimosas or one of their craft beers, which was, what was it? Uh, Wicked Weed India Pale Ale and some other nonsense. But yeah, we may have to do brunch at Cracker Barrel at some point.